Hi, hello. My name is Andy. You can also call me Moth. And today I decided I'm going to start a new series here on YouTube called Moth and Moomoos. Um, where I will just be in some of my favorite Moomoos, no makeup on, absolutely relaxing, playing some fun games. Um, I wanted a little something that I could do just for YouTube and I thought, why not do a series of shorter games? Um, maybe quieter, more low energy, possibly more emotional style games um, that I could just post directly onto YouTube and have that be my little thing. So, today we are going to be playing a beautiful, beautiful game called Social Moth. This game is a charmingly beautiful narrative platformer where you play as Electris. A socially anxious moth trying to find their place in a daunting world. Navigate conversations, solve creative puzzles, and enjoy satisfying platformers as you help Alatris contend with their social anxiety. Okay, so we are going to new game. Yes, because I didn't actually play. I had a moment of going through it and I was like, oh. Kate says choosing anxious thoughts will increase your anxiety, but both of these are anxious thoughts. I'm gonna go with A. I'm sorry. Oop. I should leave. Choosing self-forgiving thoughts will decrease your anxiety. Oh no! Not more people! Electris, are you okay? I'm thinking about this wrong. I need to breathe. Um, I'm blaming myself too much. People aren't scary. It's in my head. Everything will be fine. This game is going to make me cry. Be careful. As your anxiety bottles up. Oh, what's that? You might find it hard to breathe. But don't go waiting for too long. For when it inevitably breaks. Breakfast is the most I've calming been meal of the day. Grocery shopping for a while now, haven't I? There are just so many people out there. What if I run into someone? Okay, I can do this. I just need to make it to the store, get my groceries, and get back without anything going horribly wrong. Well, time to head out. Hey, Electris. 
Why didn't you join us at the hive last night? Everyone was waiting for you. Oh, God. I ditched the party on purpose, but I didn't think I'd run into the bug that invited me. Oh, no. Should I push myself a bit more to go? He must be super mad at me. I should be honest why I didn't go. His friends must think I'm a terrible friend. I'm gonna go with why, because I just know this is what I would say to myself. I couldn't bring myself to go. Would going to the party even be worth it? I tried to go, but I wasn't feeling well. How was it though? Oh, it was super fun. You crack up jokes with Crack and Venatoria. I think you'd love them. Hmm. That actually sounds nice. Maybe I need to push myself a bit more to go next time. Crack's holding another party in a couple of weeks, so you can go then. I'm definitely not going, though. Is he actually disappointed in me? Or am I worrying too much? Why do you guys keep inviting me? Yep. Hey. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't invite you? But every time, I don't go. Even if you skip out a lot, I wouldn't want you to miss out on the fun when you want to go. Damn it. Oh, thanks, Bombax. Hey, Electris. You seemed kind of down these last few weeks. Is everything all right? I'm here for you if you need any help. It's okay to rely on friends. Maybe I should at least let him know how I've been feeling. Things haven't been going super well, and I've been a bit stressed. We can hang out later. Not a party, but just relax. Th that sounds nice. That stood up Dawn Dex at the hive last night? <laughs> he was talking you up quite a bit, so it was so disappointing when you didn't show. Oh no. I really should have gone, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave my house. Okay, so it's between, it's okay that I failed, I'll try again next time, or it's fine to take time for myself. I think for the sake of being consistent, because we talked about going next time with our last interaction, I'm gonna go with A. I couldn't bring myself to go last time, but I'll just try again. Oh, no, no, Doldax is too kind. I, I wasn't feeling well last night. It's a shame. Make sure you join us for the next one, alright? He's kind of pushy. I don't know if I like you, Crack. crack. Uh, I'll, I'll try. Here's some ginger candy. I always take it when I feel sick. Maybe it'll help. I'm allergic to ginger, but thanks. I have sensory kit. She seems intimidating, doesn't mean she's mean. They 
Thanks for warning me. No problem. Just remember safety first, safety second, and coolness third. So, little bug, is everything all right? You seem a bit anxious. flowers. I'm trying to make a present for Hendra. What, LGBTQ plus vibes? I think I saw some that are the same color as Kendra's spots over there. Why, well, that's mighty kind of you. Thank you. What a mood. Oh, man. I'm still curious, though. I guess it's good practice to get to know others. So what project do you need these parts for, anyway? I'm working on a machine that will produce different rhythms, all with the push of a button. It's to make music better. But the gears and timings need a lot of work. I'm basing it off the stopwatch I built, and I think the ticking noise is pretty calming. Actually, why don't you take it? Test it out and let me know if it breaks or anything. Your mailbox has been piling up recently. Everything all right? Oh, why did she have to notice? But forget all the time. I just need to set up reminders around the house. I, uh, a lot has been happening lately and I completely forgot to take in my mail. Do not worry about it. People forget things like that all the time. I hope you feel better soon. Those are touch me not plants.
Isn't the weather wonderful today? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Oh, I wasn't talking to you. Oh no, hi. This is so embarrassing. People make mistakes like this all the time. It's all right that I messed up. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Uh, it's okay. It happens a lot more than you would realize. On days like this, I like to take my little Faria on a walk. Are they talking about their plant? Are you heading somewhere? What should I say? My answer isn't very interesting. I'm off to go get more pots for my garden. Here's a little flower to keep you company on your journey. It's nice, sometimes, to have company on a difficult walk. Is everything okay? They also look a bit shy. But their job is all about talking to people. How? That's, uh... I, I mean, everything is... I, I would say it... Well, that's alright. Uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. Stepping out of your comfort zone can be quite scary. Sometimes, I want to curl up and hide in my shell. But, most folks around here are really nice once you get to know them. Hmm. Oh, I was rambling, wasn't I? My apologies. Here's your food. Please, enjoy. Just the bug I wanted to see. Bojax? What's wrong? You stay in cooped up's what's wrong. Come hang out with me. What? You mean the whole day? I... I barely have the energy to go home. Ah, uh, but we haven't hung out in forever. Please, Alatris. For me. I can't last an entire day around other bugs. Jax does sound pretty excited. Okay, but like it's good to know your boundaries. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go. Yes, let's hit up that ice cream place that just opened. My treat. I hate this because this is like a lot of the internal thoughts that I have when it comes to in-person social interaction. It's like I don't want to disappoint anyone, so if they ask me to do something, I usually will, and I am so drained by the time it's over. I don't ever want to talk to people again, 
but it's nice because even though I'm tired, sometimes those social interactions are exactly what I needed. I just left my house for groceries. No, 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 no. You took a brave step forward today, and I'm rewarding you. No buts. We could even go flying. Haven't done that in a while. I haven't gone further than the store in a while either. But don't act is so upbeat that he drowns out my worries. Oh, well I could try, but I'm out of practice. The most I could do for now is flutter for a bit. Excuse me, little bug. Are you lost? This bug seems really nice. Oh, no, no. I I'm looking through the market. But thank you, though. Gotcha. Well, happy browsing. Hmm, you're new. Tell me, what kind of bug are you? Do you know of any interesting tidbits to tell? if she's named Bombix after the subspecies of moth. I'm the local tailor and I'm very interested in rumors. If you see any a silk moth to be exact.
some iron? Maybe I should exercise more, but I don't really know how to get started. Uh, I've been meaning to exercise more. Do you have any, um, advice for someone like me? Ah, uh, I remember when I was like you. Didn't know a thing about proper exercise. It's all about stretching before you get to weight. Can't be pulling your thorax when you're doing lunges. Oh! That's super useful. Well, it's very important to exercise frequently. Here's something to help you get started. Welcome, little one. See anything you like? Maybe I'll come back to get some to brighten my house. You, your flowers are very beautiful. Why, thank you, little sprout. Come back anytime you need some fresh flowers. to mess up my shop. Hey, you gonna buy something or what? This lamp reminds me of another bug I've seen. The stripe pattern on this lamp. It kind of looks like bumblebee fur. It, it's quite pretty. What? What do you mean it looks like bumblebee fur? It's just some striped pattern that's yellow. There is absolutely no reason I would make a bumblebee looking lamp. Maybe you should talk to her. I mean, it's scary talking to someone you care about. But, but sometimes it's worth it. I 
don't know. Hmm. I should go. You like shiny stuff, yeah? Take this. And thanks. Think you can handle one last challenge? Yeah, I don't feel that tired. So what's next? Asking an elderly pill bug about her day? Uh, a little more intensive than that. What do you mean by... Yo, Donnie! I don't like this. Don't sabotage people. You know they're nervous around others. This is like a full surprise attack. This little dude's the bug you were hyping up. What's your name again? This is Alex. Fuck! I didn't know it was timed. Track, and that's Venatori. Oh, that's right. I've seen you around before. I like your ring pattern. Oh, thank you. What'd you say, little buddy? They have kind of a soft voice. They were just saying thanks. How was... Donuts, come hold this steady for me, will you? Donuts, wait. I'll take just a second. You can do this. Shit. One sec. Shit. so scared
Alatris? Alatris, I know you're here. I just want to talk. Jess is here? And he wants to talk? Oh no. What if he's angry that I ran off yesterday? He'll understand. What if his friends told him how awkward I was? Maybe he just wants to borrow a book or something? Alatris. Hey, Don Dad. What happened yesterday? I trust. Don Dad wouldn't just abandon me if I made a mistake. Your friends were asking me so many questions. I wanted to answer them, but the words just got caught in my throat. That's why it was so quick. Oh, Alatris. Every time I thought of an answer, it didn't seem any good. And by the time I thought of something, the conversation was moving on and everything was happening so fast and... Alatris! Breathe. I'm not upset at you. I just want to understand. Well, your friends seemed cool, but they were asking a lot of questions. I guess I got overwhelmed, so I panicked and ran. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry I ran off without telling you. I probably should have let you know. It's okay. Well, actually, it's not okay. I'm sorry I pushed you so hard yesterday. Wait, yeah, you dick. What? I just... You were already doing so well. I thought it wouldn't hurt to have you meet some of my friends. You tell me that it's hard for you to talk to people, but sometimes I forget just how tough it is. It's fine. Uh, I mean, thank you. I don't want to see you stay home every day. I'm just not sure how to help. It's good to ask for help. I want to get better, and I know you'll understand. I know you want to do something more, but to be honest, just being there for me helps a lot. Really? Yeah. You help distract me from my anxious thoughts. Sometimes my mind jumps to conclusions until everything becomes terrifying. Maybe when I get too stuck in my head, I'll tell you when I start to get too anxious. When I do, could you help me remember that most of those thoughts are from my anxiety? <sighs> Finding someone you can be so honest with is... <sighs> it's so important with mental health to have that somebody that you know you can trust and go to when things just get too heavy. This stupid game. Uh. Not being dismissive of my fears, but just reminding me that things will be okay. I can do that. I can't be there all the time, you know? Think you can work on this by yourself, too? I think Dawn Dad believes in me, so... I think I can? I mean, it's gonna be tough, right? But yesterday wasn't so bad until... well... When I get really anxious, I always jump to conclusions. If I can recognize those thoughts, it would probably help. That's a great idea. And when you're with me, I could help you practice recognizing them for when you're on your own. I... should we start practicing now, or... I mean... Maybe we should just relax for the rest of today. I mean, this was a lot, and we have plenty of time to work on this later. Sure. We could watch Butterfly Monarch Bride again? Haven't we watched that, like, seven times by now? Hey, you were the one who introduced this movie to me. Don't act like you don't know all the lines by heart. a lot of days.
That's right. <sighs> Everything's going to be fine. You ready, Alatris? <laughs> I know we've only been working on it for a couple of weeks, but we wanted to give it a shot. I'll be supporting you. Don't leave me again, Dondax. Oh, thanks, Dondax. I'm glad we're friends. I wish I could do more than just see you off here, though. Um, this is a. I want to be more independent. I hope one day I'll be able to go without you having to do this. <laughs> I bet you can do it next time. No problem. I sure hope so. I'm definitely making progress, and I'm excited to see what I can do. No matter how it goes, you're facing your fears, and that's incredible. I'm really proud of you. Oh, I got a picture of us. Okay. Uh. Oh, I jumped really high. See you at the party, Alatris. See, See you at the party. Uh oh. Oh. Where am I supposed to go? like us have to stick together and support one another. Of course. Thank you so much. Party. Hey there, little bug. Headed to Crack's party, I see. Are you meeting up with any friends there? Um, I'm getting better. I'm not the best at making friends, but maybe I can make some tonight. Oh, no, no. I I'm going alone, but I'm hoping to meet some new bugs. That's wonderful, little bug. Crax parties are perfect for finding others you click with. This is so wholesome. Electra, nice to see you out and about. She's so pretty. Going Crax, I was trying not to think about that. Um, it'll be fine. Oh, I'm heading 
there now. But I'm pretty nervous since it's my first party. That's exciting. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun and make some new friends. I hope so. I know so. Enjoy. This party is sick. I don't have to pretend to like I shouldn't this. have to pretend I like music to get other bugs to like me. That's right. Oh, well, this music sounds interesting, but it's not really my thing. That's fine. I know this type of music isn't for everyone, though these parties are pretty good at introducing other bugs to new music. Really? A new bug gets to make a playlist every time. If you keep coming to these, Maybe you'll get to make one too, partner. Let's go, partner. That sounds really cool. Oh, I, I wanted to thank you for the stopwatch you gave me since it's been helpful for my anxiety. Really? How so, partner? Well, it's actually pretty loud. At least louder than most stopwatches. But if I have trouble breathing, I can use the watch to help me take deep breaths. Wow, I'm glad my gadget was helpful to you. Hey, if you ever need any other useful inventions, come over to my place and just ask, you hear? Uh, okay. Come back here in two minutes if you want to leave. I'll have it fixed by then. Okay, so I don't want to leave. I'm gonna go up this way. Ooh. Bombax! Bombax. Brings you to this spot. This doesn't seem like the type of place you normally hang out at. I guess I'm here to make friends, or at least practice talking to bugs. I don't normally go to parties or talk to other bugs, but that's why I'm here to practice. Very commendable. Working to further oneself, and what a splendid place to do so. There are many a bug with many a story here, so who knows what hidden wisdom you might find. Look at you! What are you standing around here for? Come dance. Dance? It might be fun to try something new. Uh, I don't dance, but if it goes badly, at least I can say I tried. Okay, but uh, are you sure? I'm not a very good dancer. <laughs> so what? I'm not very good either. Hell yeah. Really? Yeah, but it isn't really about me. It's about right. moving around, having fun, and showing music with friends. Oh, I, I guess this makes us friends, yeah? Totally. And look at you. You're not so bad once you stop overthinking. Am I actually dancing? Thanks. Y you too.
Electris, right? Want to try some homemade moss dip and petal chips? Mm. Trust me, they are very delicious. I'm not sure. I've never seen a snack like that. It looks like it's almost glowy. I don't know about trying food at a rave. It's a nice offer, but I don't want to. I think I'm a bit too nervous to eat right now. Uh, no thanks. I'm not really that hungry right now, but it was really nice of you to offer. Do you cook a lot? No problem. And actually, yes. It's pretty relaxing, and all the scraps can help Baria and the others as composting. Oh, that's really neat. So, how's your new friend doing? You know, the one I gave you? Uh, oh! You eat all those daisy sprouts! Pan's doing great! They sit on my window- Pan! Pansexual! Uh, you named them already? Fantastic! You should bring them over sometime too. I could show the both of you the rest of my garden. Sure! to know there's someone here as confused as I am. Oh! I is this your first party too? Not in general, but um, here? Yeah. If you believe the party will suck, then it'll actually suck. But if you try to have fun, it's actually not that bad. I'll keep that in mind. Do you know why I came here? No? What? It's because a couple weeks ago, a flighty little moth stuck their nose into a grumpy worm's business. They must have been terrified, but they still told the grumpy bug their mind. Now, if a scared moth could do something like that, maybe a bug like me could actually ask someone out. Uh oh, oh? Have fun at the party. I'm going to try to talk to Aphora. Oh, hey there, little bug. How's the party been? Oh, no. I think I've seen this bug before, but I can't remember her name. She won't get upset if I can't remember. I just had a strophicizing again. It's been fun so far. Uh, sorry, I can't remember your name. It's a foradier, and you're Electris from the market a couple of weeks ago, yes? Do you recognize me from that? I keep an eye out for any new faces around the market, but you took off in such a rush, I was so worried. Oh, I have social anxiety, but I've been working on it and it's been getting easier. That's wonderful news.
look at that uncomfortable. You okay? My June bug got me into pumping iron. It was a bit hard at first, but then we started doing it together, and it turned into a sort of game. This kind of stuff, you gotta do it with friends. It keeps you motivated. Oh, thank you. So, I guess you haven't been using the barbell I gave you, huh? Oh, yeah. No, sorry. Nah, it's all right. Hey. Maybe lifting weights is good, which I can totally get. What about hiking? I love hiking. Hiking? Yeah. Going off on the trails and exploring nature. Your friend Don Dax, yeah? How about I take the two of you on some of my favorite hiking trips? Could be more up your alley than weight training. That, that sounds great. I I'll ask Don Dax. We shouldn't have surprised you like this. But hey, Dawn Dax made us so excited to hang out with you. Really? Yeah, he's always talking about you. I'm pretty sure you're the reason he always wins trivia night. Never mind. I hope you enjoy the party. So, Dawn Dax tells all of you about me? Oh, Dawn Dax talks about you a lot. <laughs> really? always says that you tell the funniest jokes. Well, sometimes, Aragog and Vinny will be debating, and Don Dax will just pull the answer out of nowhere because you had just told him about it. Anyway, you seem like a cool bug, and it turns out that's totally correct. Thanks. I hope I can hang out with you guys more. Totally. Enjoy the party.
I'm so glad I didn't just die. Where am I going now? Love kills me. I'm gonna let that run. <clears throat> that was so good. And so short, but so impactful. The art style was so pretty. Oh my gosh. really good I really enjoyed it it was easy which I need <laughs> I'm not a good gamer so I like when things are easy with like just a teeny tiny spice of challenge I feel like I probably missed a lot of things but honestly I feel like this is a game that I'm gonna keep playing whenever my own anxiety gets up high and I need that reminder that, like, it's okay. And I love all the representation. I love that the, you play a moth that uses they, them pronouns. I love that there was hints of LGBTQ, hints of non gen conforming characters, um, which you don't... You're starting to see more of it now, which I think is incredible. But for a while, we didn't really get to see that. Oh, 
Alright friends, so that was the beautiful, incredible, wonderful game of Social Moth. I... I loved it. I definitely think it's got a lot of replayability. I think that there is a lot of options you can explore depending on maybe how your mood is. But what did we think? The first official video in the Moth and Moo Moo chill gameplay videos. I don't really know what to call it, um, but you can maybe leave some suggestions in the comments and we can go through it. Um, but if you stuck around, thank you so much. It means the world to me that you would want to hang out. <laughs> so I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day or night or time zone, depending on what place you are in your current presence. I'm rambling, but I will see you all next time for the next episode of Moth and Moo Moo's.